Good day my friends, what's up? It's Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. I'm just starting off my week. Uh, I hope this truck is good. Last week, I had to put it in the shop. I only drove it like for one day. The day that I came in, I drove it and it had a problem. It's been having issues. I think that was my third time putting it in the shop it, uh, because of issues to do with the transmission. So hopefully this time they fixed it because uh, last week I, I was, you know, like borrowing trucks. Hey, hey what's up, man? That's my friend right there. So let's see how today this truck will do. Uh, it's also dirty, I need to clean it up. My slip seat, I used to do a good job like leaving it clean because when he had just come in, but it looks like now he doesn't mind anymore. It's not as clean as I want it to be. But we'll get, that's the challenge you have to deal with when you sleep sit, but we'll get it clean and we'll be on our way. So I have two pre-plans on me right now. The first one is heading to Arlington. I needed to to put in some def in my truck because it was on empty and then I went inside to use the restroom before I head out to my first stop but then uh, I was you know like washing my hands and there was another driver besides me so he walked out before me but then he waited for me right outside and then when I came out he was asking me what kind of cologne I'm putting on right now and so I told him uh, now for me I don't know exactly which one I'm putting on because I have like I believe like maybe six or seven uh, dosier products I know I made a review of those, of those colognes here on the channel but I uh, you know like I have like maybe seven of them and you know I just pull out one and then I I put it on I usually don't know which one I'm wearing but uh, I just thought that was neat so a shout out to dossier I don't know if that's the way they pronounce it And for those of you who want to take advantage of them, they are really nice. It just depends on which one really smells good for you. Because they have a variety of them. And some of them, by the way, are unisex. For those of you that have spouses where you want to share. If you want to share your smell, they have uh, a few that are unisex. Anyway, just thought I should share with you that. So the 170, I don't know if I told you guys, this 170 opened up. This is a new construction. We used to just be on the surface street, but now they opened out this one. And then there is one they are working on, the 114. They are also working on that, which helps to speed up things. There is a truck that has just turned here, made a left there, and then there's one coming from there. It specifically says on both ends of that road, no trucks. But then you find some drivers that just risk it. When you get a ticket, you'll be mad at the cop. But it's 
say specifically no drugs. Morning has broken, my windows are open. Wanna feel the wind blow through my hair. Which way do I follow? What happens tomorrow? I turn to you and hope you can guide the way. Sometimes I give up, just wanna be on my own. Today I use the I usually use the uh the 20 coming this side but today I use the 360 but it's been kind of busy it's been a lot of traffic but I realize uh, even the 114 had a lot of traffic and I just looked at the 20 there it also has a lot of traffic so looks like because it's a Friday there's a lot of traffic everywhere right now the time is 4 23 I'm almost here This right here is William Sonoma. Hopefully they have an empty for me. They usually do have empties. So hopefully they have one for me because I'm gonna need one for my pickup. I was so confident they had empties here, but it turns out they don't have any empties. I sent my manager a message asking him where I can pick up an empty. Uh, he said he's gonna send me. He said he's gonna send me some locations, but he hasn't yet sent me any locations. I have a couple of places I know that I could be able to get an empty, but sometimes when you start looking for empties on your own, they don't pay you for those empties. They want uh, they want to let you know where to pick up an empty. So I'm tired of waiting. So I'm just gonna go to where I think I'm gonna be able to find an empty and see if they have any. Instead of me wasting my time, if they don't pay me for it, that's fine. Just received a message from my manager telling me to try to bobtail in. But by the time I got the message, I had already found this empty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this empty. And I've also put in my exception to be paid for finding it. So hopefully he pays me for it. I think he will. If he doesn't, I'll make some noise about it. Friday traffic, Friday traffic. It's been a while since I have been in such traffic. From the time I started my shift, it's like every freeway has traffic. It's exactly six o'clock. Married to Amazon FTW1. Hey, where's this doggy coming from? It's like he's running sideways. Come on.
Look, I'm gonna have to park this right here. But they want me to open the doors. We used not to open doors, but they now want us to open the doors. side was drop off my empty I'm here to pick up the load which means that I get paid for this pickup it's like a draw uh, it's almost like picking up another load hey people I'm here help me open supposed to open when they see me I guess they are still working on the other guy so I just have to look for it in this lot right here this is like their off-site lot That's it right there, 306919. I'm done with this place. I took my lunch break. Uh, I was hungry. So I'm heading to Wiley and then looks like they don't have anything out of Wiley so from Wiley I'm gonna go to Foni pick up an empty and then I'm gonna head to Galan um, pick up a load which goes back to KCS so since it's becoming dark, I'm not sure if you will hear from me again. If you do, good. If not, until then, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.